welcome back it's a beautiful day to be alive and welcome back to witness season baby Welcome back to Witness and welcome back to the second part of I Built My Home, My Dream Home Gym. Today we're gonna finish out this two part series, me building my home gym and everything that went into it. Today I'm gonna be taking you through the complete gym tour. <gasps> welcome to the home gym. You know, like how nice will this be during the summer? Check me out. Lunging. Oh, out of your gym. Lunging out. I'll talk you through where I found all of my equipment, what equipment I decided to go through, gym flooring, the 411, everything you need to know about what I put on the inside of the gym. Last video, I took you through the whole building process, planning process. Today, it's about the actual gym, the inside of it, the working out part. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again it's also as i said earlier the 12 days of witness so 12 videos in the month of december and it's just a fun freaking time so make sure you subscribe hit the bell to be notified every single time i upload a new video you know youtube sometimes they don't let you know but if you hit that bell they'll let you know and then you'll come back baby come back to me i knew going into this process that trying to find gym equipment in the middle of a pandemic was going to be the most difficult part my commercial gym that i go to almost all of the equipment is rogue so the first place i went was to rogue i feel like they're very well known for having fan freaking tastic equipment that's durable and it lasts years and 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 years, and years. It's a company that I was most familiar with and their entire website was wiped clean, okay? But they did have and they still have quite a few squat racks to choose from. They have their Monster Rack and then their Monster Rack Light series and I don't need some heavy duty crazy squat rack. In my eyes, everything is all about space optimization. Making use of the space that I have since it's not a very big space, I didn't wanna just chuck a ton of equipment in there and then feel super claustrophobic. So I went with the Monster Light Rack. It doesn't need to be bolted into the ground, which I really, really loved because in four or five years when I do decide to move, whenever I decide to move, I don't know when that will be, but whenever I decide to move, I can take this rack with me. It's not damaging the concrete. I think if you're like a heavy power lifter and you're looking for like a super stable rack, this isn't the rack for you. You know, you might want to bolt it into the ground. For me and Steph, it's been perfect. The biggest struggle for me personally was I did not want to buy a cable machine online. The thought of buying a cable machine online and then setting it completely up. You know, and me and Stefan, we're handy. We're handy people. But I don't know if I'm handy enough to build an entire cable machine. So I started looking up fitness equipment stores in my city and I can't express to you how grateful I was. I didn't really know fitness equipment stores were like still a thing. Fitness equipment stores, look them up in your city. Go to them, call them up, what's up? What's the 411, what you got? What you got in your store? Amazed, I was amazed at how much equipment they had in the middle of a pandemic. So this local fitness store is where I got my cable machine, my gym flooring, almost half of my dumbbells and my dumbbell rack. This was the kill machine that I decided on. So this is from a company called Inspire. They actually have quite a few different cable machines to choose from. This is the one that I felt best fit my needs as a work router. This cable machine also came with this bench. So it just felt like a big bundle of deals and steals. It has the adjustable bench plus the leg attachment, leg extensions. Boom. It's like having a leg extension machine without the machine. You can also flip around with the bench flat and do hamstring curls. So we have hamstring curls, leg extensions, the adjustable bench. You can put the bench in a decline, put your feet on here, grab some handle attachments and do a low row as well. So that's what I loved about this machine was there's just so many options. Plus it comes with a bench. It came with all of the attachments. The only other attachments that I bought for my own personal use that I love is the triangle attachment. So I can attach that here, do some rows, straight bar, for bicep curls, tricep extensions, stuff like that. The rest of it came with the machine. I'm telling you, this cable machine is so freaking good. 
if there's one machine that you're looking for to build like the ultimate home gym, I am so passionate about this cable machine. It also has a Smith machine built in, which I haven't used yet. I also haven't figured out how to use it, but I will learn. It also has a pull-up bar and then my favorite, a lap pull down. Wow, were you using this weight last night? Sit on the bench, do some lap pull downs. I thought long and hard about buying just a lap pull down machine from Rogue. And then once I found this cable machine that has a lap pull down built in, it just feels like this machine has it all. This was my best purchase, I feel like. Mm -hmm. This is the heart of the gym right here. This is the heart of the gym. The bench also pushes really nice into the cable machine. So I feel like it all just sits in its little hut. Save in space. The best part is that if anything happens with this cable machine, they will come out here and they will fix it for free. So it included a warranty, they'll fix it, they built it. I feel like if you're gonna buy a huge machine, like a cable machine that weighs like a thousand pounds, to try to buy it local so they can deliver it, they can build it, and then they can come and help you if anything happens to it. At my commercial gym, my cable machines go out all the time. You know, I don't know what people are doing on them. I walk in there, there's a sign unavailable for use the machine is broken i wanted that security to know if anything happens somebody can come out and help me fix it i was at the point where i knew if i wanted to use the gym once it was done in october that it was slim pickings it was take and grab whatever the heck and bop i could find so when it came to plates the gym that i've gone to over the last four years uses rubber high temp bumper plates and i absolutely love them they're not damaging to floors they have a little little bump to them a little a little bounce to them so i found this extremely worrisome website okay i do think the website needs a little updating i sculpted them out on instagram and it just looked like a very wholesome family run business and they had bumper plates in stock so i went ahead and i called them to verify her name was suzanne hi suzanne if I buy these bumper plates, are they gonna arrive? To hold all of our plates, I picked up the Rogue plate tree. You can add the wheels onto it so that you can wheel it around if you need to. We have our 10s, 25s, 15s, 35s, and 45s. I would say the only purchase that I made in the gym that I don't feel was necessary was this bar. So this is the Brett Contreras thruster bar light. It's a shorter bar, it's only 15 pounds, and it's meant to help you balance off the weight when you're doing head thrusts. It's really, really thick right here, and I can't get my barbell pad around it comfortably, and I can't situate it comfortably on my hips yet. I need more practice with it. When you start stacking on 45s, not that I'm stacking on a ton, but I really wanted some thinner plates of 45s, so these are also from Inspire. Going into the pandemic, I had quite a few dumbbells already because we used them to film for my app Alive, and then I used them for at-home workouts. So I had five through 25, these eight night ones with the green on them, those are from Target. And I've slowly noticed that they're back in stock at my Target. So if you're still looking for dumbbells, check out Target. And then the rest of them, we got super lucky. The same place that we got the cable machine, we got the rest of the dumbbells from as well. My dumbbells go up to 50. Very minimal dumbbell rack, small, petite, matte black, cute as heck and bomb. Over here in this box, I just put a bunch of my accessories. Susie B Fitness barbell pad, Susie B Fitness angle straps. I even got Susie B Fitness bands. I put my jump rope in here, the five pound dumbbells in here because they don't fit on the rack. So any other accessories, they go in my accessory bucket. We, I went back and forth on flooring a million to 10 times. I thought there's like the beautiful epoxy gym floors that are just stunning. Well, come to find out there extremely expensive so for a 14 by 19 place that i had we got quoted five thousand dollars for epoxy flooring where they come out and they make it shiny and marbly and that's just unacceptable in my eyeballs rubber mats are going to be your cheapest option you can install them yourself the local fitness store that i bought them included free delivery and install so i went ahead and had them install it i went with the matte black that is where my regret my regret is my regret is the matte black floors. I'll show you clips. I cannot, for the life of me, get these matte black floors clean. Holy heck a mom. Holy heck a mom. And I just know if I would have went with the speckled floors, that would have been a little, I don't know, cleaner looking. The clip that I'm showing you, I cleaned the floors the day before and they still look like stained almost. So if you know how to clean matte black 
rubber floor mats, please let me know. Okay, so this is the Brett Contreras glute bench in the small size. There's a small and a large. Brett Contreras created the hip thrust. So if there's somebody I'm gonna trust with hip thrust equipment, it's gonna be Brett Contreras. So I went ahead and purchased this. I personally didn't like it at first. I had a really, really hard time with it. I'm so used to doing constant tension hip thrust. So to have something at the right height for once was quite the adjustment. I absolutely love it now. It's very sturdy. You can use it as like an actual bench if you need it for other things. It's kind of short, but you can use it for many things. I use it for hip thrust and I freaking love it. I wanted everything in this gym to be plain Jane, white, black. I need it to look very crisp on the Alive app. So I didn't want crazy colors. I didn't want crazy anything. I just wanted everything to be very neutral. That's why I went with the matte black floors. They're a little dirty, but hey, hey, what's a little dirt gonna do? It's okay. When we designed the gym, I left one wall, just a blank wall, no windows, nothing but a space to place mirrors. And I just called a professional window and mirror place. They came out, they measured the place, they came out and installed the mirrors and they look really freaking good. I'm so excited about the mirrors. Having mirrors again is also very weird because if you look at any of the clips of me filming in my commercial gym where I squat and deadlift and do almost any lower body exercises, there's no mirrors around. So it's been weird to have mirrors again. I purposely face the wall, so I'm not like looking at myself in the mirror while I'm deadlifting, you know? Just like weird vibes. The only roadblock I hit with the mirrors was they refused to come out and look at the gym before the inside of the gym was completely finished because they need to make sure that the wall is completely finished before they will cut the mirrors around the outlets. You know what I'm saying? It only took about a week and a half to two weeks for them to come back with the mirrors, install the mirrors, and it took them only about an hour to install them, and they are secure! And they look really good, I'm excited. Some mirrors are like wonky, you know? You know the wonky mirrors? Where you look like a clown at an amusement park? These are some good mirrors, I'm excited about them. Okay, the last piece of equipment that I don't have yet, and I won't have it until January, is a treadmill. I'm so excited! I love jumping rope and it's usually my warm up, but sometimes I just wanna do low intensity steady state. So I really wanted a treadmill that was small enough to fit into this corner. So I found one from Nordertrack. It folds up, it still goes to 15% incline, 15 miles per hour, and it'll fit perfectly in this little corner. But I won't have it till January, so. Until then I have a little decor, you know? That's where Navy hangs out. I also have a few accessories hidden back here. This mushy cushy, the cushioniest mat. We all think that sucker is. I found this at Target the other day. Super excited about it. I also have a yoga mat. It's a little thin, haven't used it for in here yet. And then a little mini rug deadlift jack. So this will just lift the barbell off of the floor if you need to add some weight onto it. Just makes life a little easier. Oh, let me show you the dim lights. Ooh. The lights. I work out in the morning and Stefan works out at night, so he uses the lights. But we got loads of lights in here. Look at all these lights and then check this out. Boom, they got dimmers. You're in the mood for a low light? Okay. You're in the mood for some brightness? Okay, we got you. Loads of lights to choose from. And then you can see, and then we also have two speakers on the ceilings that I just connect my phone to with AirPlay. And then we can blast music. So that completes the entire gym tour. I've been getting complete full body workouts. In this gym, we have everything that we need. I love that we got the cable machine and the squat rack. Those are the two things that I knew I wanted in this gym, and I'm so happy we got it. I think I'll end up moving a few things around. I think I want to move the dumbbell rack here once the treadmill's in, and then start doing hip thrusts in the squat rack. So I'm so excited for a workout here in the summer where I can open the doors and lunge outside. Maybe do some squats outside. It'll just be nice to like have the doors open. Boom! All right, you guys, that is the entire gym tour. I will try to link or at least write out all of the equipment that I got in the description box below. I hope that you guys enjoyed my gym home tour. I'm so stinking excited. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I will see you next time, which will be in two days because it's Whitman season, baby.